Scandal Squad, can y'all do me a favor and hit that like button? And I'll let my AI sis get into the mess. All right, bye. In the last couple of weeks, Diddy has had about 10 new lawsuits lodged against him. Suits by both men and women. The latest one filed today is one of the most shocking of all. TMZ is reporting a woman claims Diddy violated her with a TV remote. Diddy used a TV remote to assault a woman as payback for her telling him she believed he had something to do with Tupac Shakur's unaliving, according to the latest lawsuit in a series against Diddy. The Bad Boy founder is being sued by a woman named Ashley Parham, who claims Diddy assaulted her in a gangbang style after she dissed him on a FaceTime call. According to the lawsuit obtained by TMZ, Ashley Parham met a friend of Diddy's at a bar in February 2018 and he called Diddy on FaceTime. Parham says she wasn't impressed by the man's famous friend, telling Diddy to his face she thought he played a part in Pac's death. Parham claims Diddy told her she would pay for her Tupac comment and overall dismissal of him. And she says one month later, Diddy's friend set her up for Diddy to assault her. In her suit, Parham says the man she met at the bar invited her over to his Orinda, California home. And when she was there, Diddy showed up and told her she thought she would never see him in person. She says Diddy held a knife to the side of her face and told her he would give her a Glasgow smile in retaliation for her Tupac comments. Parham claims Diddy's top consultant, Christina Corum, was there too. And KK told Diddy not to cut Parham's face because they could sell her to potential clients for sex. Parham claims KK then threatened to ship her off anywhere in the world, never to see her family again. In the docks, Parham claims Diddy took off her clothes and then got a bottle of liquid from a large fanny pack and covered her body in a liquid substance. She says Diddy and KK tried to insert something into her vagina that they refer to as an IUD, but it malfunctioned. And then Diddy picked up a TV remote and violently inserted it into her vagina, using the remote to violently rape her. Parham claims Diddy told her that her life was in his hands and that he could take her and she would never be seen again. Then he later violently entered her in the back door area and instructed two other men to do the same, which she says they did. After the alleged gangbang style incident, Parham claims Diddy and his buddies left her limp body inside the home as they went in the backyard to smoke weed and cigarettes. She says, when she finally regained her bodily functions, she grabbed a blade and an oversized shirt and tried to leave, but had to get past Diddy to reach the exit. She says she confronted Diddy, who she says was surprised to see her walking because he had given her enough drugs to take out a horse. Parham claims Diddy told her he hadn't had any butt that tight in a while and offered her money and told her to say everything was consensual. Parham says she refused and threatened to go to the cops, with Diddy telling her no one would believe her and if she told anyone, he would harm her family. She says one of his associates showed her a phone that appeared to be live streaming video from outside her sister's home. In the suit, Parham claims Diddy even called his mom, Janice Combs, in an effort to convince her not to report the incident. She says Diddy's mother yelled at her to not hurt her son and brushed off Parham's claims Diddy violated her. Parham claims Diddy told her he'd gotten away with bigger crimes and again referred to Tupac. She says the Tupac comment pissed off one of the men who was with Diddy who drew a gun and later fired a shot that sent Diddy running. She says she then chased after Diddy with the knife, caught up to him, and was about to poke him when he started pleading for his life. She says she had a moment of clarity and ran for the exit, but Diddy chased her down and she wielded the blade at him, grazing his abdomen. In the docks, 
Parham claims she escaped to the street and yelled for neighbors to call the cops. She then heard Diddy's SUV speeding away from the home. Parham claims a sheriff from the Contra Costa County Sheriff's Department responded and she told him she had been violently assaulted by Diddy and his crew. Because Diddy was allegedly involved, she doesn't believe the CCCSD investigated her claims. She also says she reported the Grape to Walnut Creek Police and the Orinda Police Department, but was told no law enforcement agency had opened an active investigation into any of her reports. It's very strange that all three agencies didn't take a report. There are parts of this story that don't add up to me, but what are your thoughts? I hope all of the people coming forward are telling the truth. When there's a potential million dollar payout, people are going to come out of the woodwork.